Aloha Oddlyites, I'm back with a second video for the day. <clears throat> I, I wasn't planning on doing a video, but I was watching some Evil Geniuses and Allegiant scrims, and I saw this game out of Evil Geniuses, and I just had to do a breakdown for it, because they played the game almost flawlessly against another pro team. They, they were playing against Allegiance, and although Allegiance are actually beating them in the scrim as I'm recording this, uh, it's like 7-6 or 7-7, seven, 8-7, seven, seven, something along those lines. Uh, this game was just complete dominance from the get-go out of EG. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch into the game. I'm going to watch Roy's point of view, but I'm probably going to be switching around through, throughout the game. And I'm going to pause quite a bit. This game goes by so fast. It was so dominant. i um, going to watch Roy. Here we go. Off the start, they they have red sides. They get overshield. Light rifles immediately watch the catwalks. They slow that down. L town support drop. Blue team sent three guys outside. I'm actually gonna switch to snipe down for just a second because he's got overshield and rockets. Good play out of Nated to have the plasma pistol ready for this. Snipe down stays alive throughout it though. Switching back to Roy. Roy's just. Anchoring Red Nest with this light rifle while his team pushes to take over Blue. And immediately, Lunchbox is already on Catwalk. Like they, they're going for the triple cap already this early in the game. They've got the triple cap. When you get a triple cap in Strongholds, what you want to do is you want to play it like it's Slayer. Get them on alternating spawn cycles where you spawn them two at a time. They spawn. Two at blue, you kill those two, you turn and go to red, there's two guys spawning at red, kill those two, the other two are going to spawn back at blue, you just keep spawn cycling back and forth, and that's how you play uh, Slayer in Halo 5, and that's how you play Strongholds with a 3 cap. Now they've, they've already got the 3 cap, they're spawning red, Roy goes back to start on the slaying, but uh, it's a little slow there, and uh, Allegiance were already capping red. But again, EG still have two territories, so it's not like an enormous loss at that point. Takes a shot in his back, so he backs up and gets the shields back. Then immediately you see two evil genius members swarming back to Catwalk to get the reset. They slay. They go check to make sure blue is safe. It is. They finish off the tri cap again. See a player spawning at Catwalk. Blue Bend being captured. Lunchbox is already swarming that player. Roy's out there to help him. Roy's a, a little late uh, to pre-nade that, so he does end up taking damage and forcing back down. But he knows now players are going to be spawning red. He should pull out his AR, be ready to... And it's just flawless play so far. Like he's died twice, but none of his deaths were bad plays. Here, rockets are coming up. You see him taking the fastest route he could possibly take to get out there. He picks up the SMG. He's got the rockets. Kills L Town. He stays alive throughout that. And now he gets the, the double kill rockets. He's got the overshield from under Nated's hand. That's got to be frustrating for Nated. But you see, EG, they're just swarming back and forth from territory to territory. He still has one rocket left. He's got the player underneath him. He's looking for him. He might get taken down here, but just fantastic team shot. Gets the triple kill. Gets the territory. He's already looking at the spawners. He drops his empty rockets for a light rifle. He should go ahead and go outside. He's playing it a little too cautiously here. But not really a mistake, just cautious play. Gets the, the two kills there. He's on a frenzy. Jeez. They, they have the triple cap again. They're already swarming the spawns. Uh, good play by Suspector actually to avoid Roy's protection. Suspector's actually already on top of Roy. Roy finally notices, backs up, and he's just keeping them, he's standing right here, he is keeping them from pushing into Red Nest because they know he's still alive, he's still full shields, they don't know what weapons he has because they all they know is he has a light rifle, 
And if a player has a rifle, you should assume they also have an automatic as a secondary. In this case, he doesn't, so it would have actually been okay to push Roy. But because nobody knows what he has as a backup, uh, they're playing it safe, trying not to run into an SMG. So Roy's just zoning him off of He goes for the ground pound, gets the ground pound, gets the kill. Got help from Lethal. He's just pushing player. They still have their triple cap going. Insane, insane gameplay out of EG this game. I mean, this game is already over at this point. Like, it's just a five minute game, and I wanted to highlight just how strong it is to, to just swarm spawns, go for triple caps, don't sit on two territories, and EG show exactly how to do it. You get the three territories, you cycle their spawns between blue plat and in red or under red. Sometimes they'll get the tower spawns, but you just fan out and get shots from both sides of catwalk from blue and red. And there's just nothing a team can do as they're coming off spawns when they're not spawning all together all at the same time. You just kill them two at a time, dominate them on the spawns. I'm going to highlight Roy's stats here. We saw him die twice. He got 16 kills, four territory captures. It just fantastic gameplay out of Evil Geniuses here. And if you're looking to fix your gameplay on Eden Strongholds, take a note from them. You don't sit on the territories. You don't play for a setup. You don't just get complacent when you have the advantage. You push, you push, you push. Maybe leave one person back to stall anyone that's coming off spawns. But you want somebody for that that can stay alive. You don't want somebody that's just going to challenge and die. And here you see EG just, they, they move as a unit, they push, they get the opponents on the spawns, and we have a game that ended in four and a, three and a half minutes, actually. Which is just insane for Stronghold at this level. This is how... Uh, Pro Halo 5 is going to be for a while now. So with that, I'm going to close out the video. It's a really short video compared to my other oddly analyzes, but I, I hope you enjoyed it, and maybe this will improve your own Eden Strongholds gameplay. You find yourself playing with randoms and matchmaking, you just tell them, go to the next point, go to the next point, come with me, come with me. Uh, let's go kill them off spawn. They're going to spawn here. Like, if you're just taking red, they're going to be spawning blue plat, probably. If you're just taking... Uh, Blue Bend or Catwalk, they're going to be spawning back red. Just be ready as soon as you've got that territory secured, and may maybe you're not the last one staying, just go ahead and get ready to go slay the spawners. And that's how you win Eden Strongholds, and EG just showed it perfectly as a unit in this game, and that's it. So anyway, that's all for this video. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed it and learned. And until next time, aloha!